Hey, what's up, you guys? What's up, my brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ? Um, this is DJ Johnson here with you guys once again. Um, I'm here to share another dream that the Lord has given me um, to share with um, you guys. Um, but first of first off, the Lord has spoken to my heart, and um, He wants me to tell you guys something. All right. Um, this is God's word to you. Um, Daddy says, tell my people to have their eyes open. If they aren't following me, they're following Satan. This is serious. It's not a joke, says the Lord. Alright, so that's what the Lord has spoken tomorrow to share with you guys. Um, and last night, I had a dream that my friend was having a garage sale. For some reason, he was standing outside my house, and he began sounding the alarm. He began blowing a shofar, which represents the voice of the Father. I heard him blowing it outside my house, and went outside to look, and I saw the road. I saw some road constructors laughing at him and making fun of him for blowing the shofar. They said it wouldn't work, and he was wasting his time, and they were just laughing at him, making fun of him, and uh, discouraging him. I then saw him put it down on a table outside like it was a garage sale if you had tables outside your house with stuff on it, and he had just put it down on the table outside like a garage sale. And he went out. He went inside his house, and I went after him. I went to him and told him that I would buy the shofar from him um, if he was selling it. And he seemed to be very sad. He had this sad look on his face, but he never spoke. It, he he had this look on his face of discouragement. This look on his face of just sadness, and he 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 looked like he was just going through a mess. And um, I knew that from this, I knew the reason why he was blowing his shofar. Um, it is said that the shofar will bring healing to, like, you know, you, your body, uh, and healing to, like, you know, everything that you're going through. It's, a, it's in other words, an act of um, faith, just like anointing yourself with oil. It's a it's a symbolization, it's an act of faith. And um he blew this so far believing that the father, that God would um restore his land and heal uh all like the whole situation of trouble that he was coming across, going through. He was going through a storm and um it seemed like he was losing everything, you guys. So he blew this so far as a uh act of uh faith. And these guys were making fun of him, saying, you know, you're wasting your time, it's not going to work. And um, he literally got discouraged. It was like it crushed his spirit. And that's when he put the shofar down. And then he went inside his house. Um, and after I went and told him that I would uh, buy the shofar from him if he was selling it, and I saw his face, that's when... The Holy Spirit revealed to me the reason of why he was blowing the shofar, and uh, I saw that he was definitely going through something. And I wasn't that interested in buying it from him after that because I knew that he needed a breakthrough, and um, it was something that he needed. I just wanted to encourage him and tell him um, about you know uh, keeping his faith because when you go through a storm, you guys. It's because God has a breakthrough for you. He has such a great blessing for you. And you don't want to be a spoiled little brat, you know. Um, God, he makes us go through things in order to mold us to uh, be prepared for oncoming events that will uh, discourage you, um, most likely. You know, um, like if you just get everything that you uh, always ask for and want it, and it's never like an issue um then you're spoiled and you don't like you know you don't want to be spoiled like you want to be prepared for anything it makes you stronger uh for you to have to go through storms 
And you know, when you go through storms, a lot of the time people will just give up. Right in the middle of it, they'll give up. But don't give up when you're going through a storm. Rejoice when you're going through a storm. Because I'm going to tell you something. Right when you feel like it's the breaking point, like you just can't take anything else. Like, you know, you feel like just throwing it in the towel. Oh, uh, God, I don't know what to do no more. You know, that's right when you're about to have a breakthrough, you guys. So, I encourage you to not give up if you're going through a storm. I believe strongly that if you're watching this video and you're going through something, it's not an accident. It's on purpose that you stumbled across this video and you're seeing this right now. And I pray and cast blessings upon you in Jesus' name. In the name of the Father. Because you are who Jesus says you are. And he says, Daddy says that he will never leave nor forsake you. He is with you while you walk through that valley. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, for he is with you. He is right next to you. And he will not ever put on your shoulders more than you can handle and if you fall he will pick you up if you can't walk he will carry you all you need to do is just believe in him and that's God's words through me speaking to you all right um so I saw this I saw my friend from church um he was in this house and he was very sad he looked very sad um after I went and spoke to him and then uh, he was with a woman as if they were dating or something she came I was talking to him and she came from upstairs and walked around and uh, he didn't really acknowledge her too much he just looked kind of lost and sad like he was ready to just throw in the towel he was crushed and it was as if um, he was about to just lose everything um, and he was Stepping out in faith and blowing his shofar for healing and revival. And the enemy was trying to discourage him. Which was, you know, the enemy was uh, Satan working through all of these uh, construction worker guys that were, you know, basically uh, just stomping on his parade. You know, he was making an act of faith and they were right next to him. Kind of maybe... 10 feet across from him and they yelled to him saying you're wasting your time it's not gonna help you not doing nothing you're wasting your time you might as well quit and then he just he was like and then he just put the shofar on his table and went inside looking completely sad the father wants you to know that if you're going through a storm that's one of the, oh my gosh, that is one of the, um, the most, like, toughest times when it comes to you and the enemy because Satan will have a field day if you are living in your misery. He will put all this garbage in your mind, in your head, saying you'll never make it, you'll, nothing will ever change, you know, you aren't worth anything, God doesn't care about you. There is no God. He's not real. Um, the enemy will put all type of types of garbage in it. And you know what? It is written in the Bible. In Genesis, it is written that um, his native language is lying. He is the king of all lies. Do not listen to that voice. Um, you can tell when the voice is against God. You can tell, you guys. If you if you feel like you can't pray, tell God to give you the spirit of wisdom and to make you sensitive to his voice. When you hear that still voice in your spirit saying, This is the way you should go, this isn't the way you should go, or I am with you, I love you, or trust me, trust me. You know, like when you hear these um uplifting things and you just know you feel it in your spirit this is the father you guys he's speaking to you in your heart do not quit if you're going through a storm i encourage you continue to believe in him because he is very much with you and he's making you strong 
you know it's just like a father if you're a father out there you have a son um you know if your kid messes up you might give him a beating you might um you might raise the rod to him um and what does that do you know it puts in their mind stop son all right i'm not doing this again because i know it's gonna happen all right now god he's not beating you but he's showing you in order to like make you stronger make you more holy you know and when is one of the i learned this from jake hamilton too when is one of the most uh the most times that you pray the most like when, when do you pray the most when you are speaking to god when you're going through something all right so wouldn't it be logical for the Lord to like, you know, lift his hand up a little bit and let you go through a storm in order to make you get a little closer to him through your praying. You know, it's but he's not mad at you. He is not mad at you, but he's trying to make you holy, you guys. He's trying to make you more like him. He's trying to build you up for for what he has in store for you to make you the greatest thing in the world because you are the greatest thing in the world if you were the only person in the whole world jesus christ would have died on that cross and took all that pain just for you just for you so um i encourage you guys you know uh, if you're going through a storm don't quit because he is with you finish the race you guys believe on him because he is not a liar he looks for you to trust him and he will bless he will bless you abundantly when he sees your faith so i love you guys stay praying stay fasting stay seeking god's face and um shalom